Senator Bravenu, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Last Monday, the Standing Senate Committee on National Security received Master Saunders from British Columbia as a witness, a specialist in, in infractions uh, committed by civilians who committed marijuana. They, he, he admitted that his business is now flooded with uh, uh, requests. Technically, 40 percent of Canadians could experience this same situation in the next in the coming years. A response by Senator McIntyre, the CBSA, the RCMP, Global Affairs confirmed having no uh, discussions with their American counterparts. My question is therefore for you, Mr. Government Leader of the Senate. Could you please tell us why there is a lack of communication between the Canadian and American uh, institutions responsible for uh, border management on in such an important issue as the legalization of marijuana and the impact of this legislation on Canadians? Honourable Senator, for his question, these are matters that are being studied um, in committee, and uh, not only the committee to which the senator refers, but other committees as uh, and when the the, um, uh, the reference to the committees is made, um, I, I am sure that uh, more in-depth conversation around this will take place. But in response to the question, I of course would want to want to reinforce the notion that each country is responsible for uh, the rules of uh, of ensuring the, the protection of their frontier, uh, and in that regard, uh, the Americans are proposing no changes. Uh, and frankly, the Canadians um, uh, uh, remain vigilant with respect to incoming um, uh, travelers and adherence to Canadian laws, which include a different regime, for example, on gun um, uh, carriage uh, than the Americans. So this is a, a, a process in which uh, there is obviously a need for uh, training and for uh, making uh, uh, our border services and working with our American partners to ensure that there is an awareness of uh, what the respective responsibilities of governments and of individual citizens are uh, as we look forward to uh, promulgating a law which is yet to be passed. Senator Bravenu. Senator Bravenu. Mr. Government Leader, are you aware or is your government aware that currently in terms of awareness raising on uh, marijuana consumption, nothing has been done for uh, just weeks away from the legalization of this product. Nothing has been done about uh, informing citizens about uh, their travel to the U.S. soil, that all producers and investors, all workers, sell retailers, promoters of the new marijuana industry will be banned from entering American soil from the moment that this drug is legalized. What does your government plan to do to inform these people of the loss of this essential right of entering American soil? I thank the Honourable Senator for his question. It is not accurate to suggest that there has been no uh, public education or awareness program. Uh, there has. It has been launched. It's being ramped up. Uh, the budget most recently tabled adds a significant new 60-some million dollars to the 40-some million dollars uh, that um, uh, the federal government is, uh, is undertaking. Provincial governments are adding to that uh, as well. Uh, I would be happy to report back in a more fulsome way in this place or uh, through the committee process to ensure that this important component, and I recognize it is an important component of uh, public education and awareness, uh, is uh, being taken seriously, and the government is well launched in this important.